The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. Example here that we're going to be doing is predicting direction of acid-base reactions. When, an, when equivalent amounts of reactant and product are mixed, which direction will the reaction proceed? Okay, great. One thing that you might actually want to write or take note of is whenever you have a reaction like this, like you have equal amounts and it's asking us which direction will the reaction proceed, it's always going to proceed in the direction towards the weaker acid and the weaker base. And that's because, like we said earlier, stronger acids, are they dissociate more than weaker acids. So what ends up happening is that the strong acid dissociates, or you could say protonates, the strong base, which leaves us with a weak acid and a weak base, as we'll see here in a moment. Okay, great. To answer this question, first what we'll do is we'll identify the acids, then we'll identify the bases, and then we'll see in which direction the reaction proceeds. So here we have we have hydrocyan uh, hydrocyanic acid, right? And we also have here hydrogen sulfate. What we can do is we'll, we have to identify now the stronger acid of the two. And how can we do that? Well, we can just go back to the chart that we had. Okay, we see here we have hydrogen sulfate up here, right? And then we have hydrocyanic acid down here. Like we said, right? Earlier, I, I was telling you to just take note of direction of acid strength and direction of base strength. We see that base strength is increasing this way. Hydrogen sulfate is going to be our stronger acid. So because it's our stronger acid, we can just go ahead and write that in. This here is going to be our strong acid. And this here is going to be our weak acid. Great. Now let's actually do the same here for sulfate and cyanide. Let's see which of these two bases is stronger. We can go back now to our chart. We see here that sulfate is all the way up here and we see that cyanide is down here. But this time the direction of base strength is increasing as we go down. Therefore cyanide is our stronger base. And because of that, we can just go ahead and write that in, that this here is our strong base, and here is our weak base. Great. And just a few moments ago, we had just said that in regards to direction, it always goes from stronger acids and bases to weaker acids and bases. Therefore, for this reaction, we would say that the reaction goes from right to left. And there we are. Okay, great. Now we can follow the same methodology to uh, solve our second problem here. For our second problem, what we'll do is we'll actually start off again and we'll identify the strong acid and the strong base. We have here bicarbonate reacting, oh sorry, we have one bicar we have bicarbonate, right? And we also have hydrogen sulfate. So now let's go back to our table and identify which of these two acids is stronger. Right? We see here that hydrogen sulfate is is going to be a stronger acid than our bicarbonate because it's all the way down here. We can go ahead and just label those. We'll just call this one our oh. Actually, let me just keep the colors here consistent. This is going to be our strong acid. And this is going to be here our weak acid. Now, we can do the exact same and check from our our sulfate and our carbonate, which one of these is a stronger base. Let's go back and check that out. We see here that our carbonate is all the way down here and our sulfate is up here, therefore our carbonate is the stronger base. Let's just go ahead and label that. That is our strong base. Uh, 
and that there is our our weak base. Oh, it's acting a little funny. Just write that a little nicer. That there is our weak base. Okay, great. Now, because we had just said that the reaction always goes from stronger bases to stronger acids and bases to weaker acids and bases, we know that this reaction is going from right to left. Mm, there you are. Okay, great. Now we're ready to move on to our next slide. Now we'll be talking a little bit about the ionization of water. Okay, firstly, water 